Away from that story, daughter of the late former president, Jerry John Rawlings, Dr. Zanetta Rawlings, is cautioning against mistakes or activity, principles of probity and accountability, which led to the June 4 revolution. She was speaking to Joy News' Chrissy Parker Wilson ahead of this year's celebration. Also, Director of Elections for the NDC, Elvis Ifriye Ankwe, says the party will continue to commemorate June 4 revolution in spite of the demise of the former president, Jerry John Rawlings. This, he believes, will preserve the legacy of Mr. Rawlings. Mr. Ifriye Ankwe was also speaking to Joy News ahead of the 42nd anniversary of the June 4 uprising. My colleague, Chrissy Parker Wilson, is at the event and joins us for more. Parker, it's rained this morning heavily in Accra. Did that affect the celebration? Daniel, not at all. It did not affect the celebration. In fact, uh, many of us thought that the NDC were going to postpone uh, the celebration. But however, in spite of the heavy downpour and the direction of the, of the rain, which was actually affecting the national chairman, the general secretary of the party, they still proceeded with the event. Now, speakers after speakers, the speakers who took their turn uh, to address the supporters of today's event. And you, see, you, you can hear a clap just behind me. Yeah. Uh, the general secretary of the party just finished addressing the, the supporters and dignitaries who have gathered here. Now, one key thing he said, and this is preamble uh, to his statement, that he made a call to the NDC supporters. He asked them uh, not to... He asked them to refrain from activities that could actually undermine the unity and strength of the party. He believes that the stronger the NDC becomes, that is how they are preserving the memory and the legacy of the late former president, Jerry John Rawlings. So that was his call. Now, he moved on to the conversation for today, which he established in his own view that the ills of the society, as it were then before the revolution, is still well and alive mm -hmm. in our current dispensation. And so we all have to be careful not to uh, go the path that we went uh, when uh, Rawlings took over the revolution. Right. So the slippery path is questioning every individual to return to the path of progress where we can right. unite the country. In fact, he cited the issue about lawlessness and indiscipline and what he calls rule by law and not rule of law in this country. So these are some of the reasons General Secretary of the NDC assigned to what he believes our current situation that could equally undermine the democracy that they're currently enjoying. Parker Olsen, thank you very much for joining us with those updates. Meanwhile, former President John Dramani Mahama has been reflecting on a day like this without rollings. Let me share with you details from a press statement he shared a couple of hours ago. Now, the statement says for the first time, the people of Ghana, comrades, supporters and sympathizers of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, will commemorate the June 4 uprising without the inspirational and arresting physical presence of the founder of our party, Flight's Lieutenant, Jerry John Rawlins, retired. A former president who departed from us last that represents a major landmark in our nation's existence. Together with its sister event, the 31st December Revolution, the two shaped the cause of Ghana's history, resulting in a turnaround in Ghana's economic fortunes and the advent of the Fourth Republic. 42 years on, our economy and democracy are in dire straits. Economic hardship, insecurity, political and ethnic polarization, deepening inequality, politicization of our democratic institutions, corruption, serious problems in the education and health sectors are challenges Ghanaians are confronted with in our daily lives. This has led to a crisis of confidence in the political leadership. Ghana is a country with exceptional human talent. Time is ticking fast and yet we can make things right if we work as one nation with a common destiny. As I've said in the past, broad consultations and consensus building does not take anything away from the leader. Broad consultations that bring the best and brightest together with stakeholders can forge consensus around issues such as economic recovery strategy, our implementational challenges of free SHS in the national interest, and others. The value that June 4 espoused some four decades ago remain as relevant today as ever before in our nation's democratic journey. He says June 4 engendered hope in our people that the ills of our society would be rooted out and replaced with values of virtue and honesty. 
You're live on Joy News Today with me, Daniel Dazim. We'll be back with more after these messages. Stay with us.